Yeah, yeah. the song's about partying all the time and shit. Fuck party. Just cause I drink don't mean <laughs> I don't hate stupid drugs But just cause I'm singing it That don't mean shit That don't mean that I'm not one But those jerks by the case Teeth. I stick expletives in the holes in my thought process when I speak. My friends stick to their guns, they got a bunch in the woods of Vermont till the end times come. But Saturn says he's gonna learn to live. As if the world wasn't gonna end in I admire his friends. gonna do my best to drink coffee in the morning and live as if I didn't feel lonely and hopeless and helpless to save myself from the world where I live and tonight when I dream it will be that the junkies spent all the drug money on community gardens and collective housing Woo! and the punk kids who moved to the gas Kiss have started filling potholes and collecting garbage to prove we don't need governments to do those things. And I'll wake up burning Times Square as we sing. Throw your hands in the air, cause property is robbery. <laughs> Top 40 
country radio right now. Yeah! Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think it provides context in this case to say that the protagonist of this particular song is a woman. And uh, this song is fucking awesome. Nice. Wow! County Road 233 under my feet Ain't nothing on this road but a little old me I got two miles till he makes bail And if I'm right, we're headed straight to hell Cause I'm going home, gonna load my shotgun Wait on the porch and light a cigarette He wants a fight, well now he's got one He ain't seen me crazy yet Slap my face and then he shook me like a rag doll Don't that sound like a real man? I'm gonna show him what a little girl's made of Good powder and lead Woo! <laughs> Another sense packing. You can hear him come like a cold black wind. Oh, he pulls in the drive, and the gravel flies. Oh, but he don't know what's waiting here this time. Cause I'm going home, gonna load my shotgun, wait on the porch and light up a cigarette. He wants a fight, well now he's got one. He ain't seen me crazy. responsibility and applying that idea to household chores. Yeah. <laughs> We're kids building models of a world that we might want to live in. We're sorting feelings in our stomachs. Is this liberation or starvation? But have we made it anywhere at all if the dishes are never done? We can't live without dishwashers. How would we live without cops? And so you're asking me, who does the dishes after the revolution? Well, I do my own dishes now. I'll do my own dishes then. You know it's always the ones who don't. Who asked that fucking question? <laughs> so I don't believe in God, but I'm also not an atheist. You know the universe is chaos, but chaos plays favorites. And you know lately I've been thinking about how I love Jesus Because Jesus, he wasn't dirty homeless Hippie peace activist And he said, drop out the fun God To anybody who would listen While turning water into space Partly, and this one is about the last one that we had. <laughs> so I get this pen and arsenic to write song for every president that will never get shot in the face. I wrap these 
Three strings in plastic and explosives and head down to the courthouse. With one chord I level the place. So what hasn't anybody learned? Don't ever trust a man who plays guitar. The day I rob a bank's the first day I'm not lying to you or me about what I believe.
can't think of one. You never have uh, any particular ones that they want to hear. I'm not building a lot. Okay. Yeah, you can play, 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 some, play some razor. Play some razor. I could I could play a cover song by uh, by a cock rock band. Yeah. 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 Because like it's a, I mean it's a game. You know, people have to help me with that. It doesn't really work. But. So, well, it's a song based on Mississippi John Hurt song. Oh, play it, play it. The idea of it is, really like, is that people help uh, me make it up as we go along. Uh, but if, if people are ready to do that, we should do it. It's kind of hard. All right, I'm gonna say that one till the end. I'll play a couple. I'll play a couple more songs, and we'll, we'll try that one. Out. Uh, all right, I'll just play. I'll play a song about being very shy, which I am a large portion. <laughs> really. Tonight I'm an alley cat, yeah More afraid of you than you are of me But if you leave some food out on the porch I might stay till there's nothing left to eat I'd be sitting a lot alone at a lunch table in high school If I wasn't sitting alone at a punk show in Asheville Hey, hey, hey Tonight the upper left hand side of my chest Has a hole as big as the one in my pockets I might have kissed you wearing a bulletproof vest But hell, you, you kiss, kiss like a rocket I'd be a teenage virgin Jerking off in my bedroom If I wasn't a 20 year old virgin That doesn't have a bedroom hey, hey, hey. business jam that I think we should do it. Yeah. yeah. I feel like garbage. We'll see how long this stream goes. Karina, to answer your question, I use a variety of things, including up to and including his albums, but also a variety of recordings of his live performances over the years, mostly the live recordings. Ugh. Ugh. God, my stomach hurts. Uh, not, it doesn't hurt the same way it's been hurting right this mo uh, moment, but I've just flooded it with a pretty heavy shake, so I'm sort of nauseated. Um... I was in the ER yesterday. I still have shoes on. Jesus Christ. I visited the ER yesterday morning, uh, about 8 to 11.30, because I could no longer tell the difference between my gastrointestinal uh, uh, symptoms, um, especially the vagus nerve irritation that I suffer from occasionally. That was a sock, if you're wondering what just went flying by there. Um, and a heart attack. Um, so, <laughs> uh, so yeah, I got to spend a few hours because I got so far into my head. Um, and once you have symptom overlap, um, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I, I wasn't having a heart attack. Um, but once you've got enough symptom overlap and you're unsure and you're up in your head about it, there's nothing you can do about it. You need somebody with diagnostic equipment to tell you otherwise. <sighs> exactly, Beast. Exactly. Once you hit the anxiety spiral about it, you're done. You're done. So, yeah, I got to spend yesterday morning in the ER, which is always fun. Um, and then yesterday recovering from going to the ER basically and fucking sleeping and fucking up my sleep schedule and oh my stomach it's just it's I'm a mess right now I'm a mess right now um, also I need somebody to fucking go comment on a video for me please I know this is what 
I need that one. Um, yeah. Um, first, before we start, Jesus, let me make this easy for you. I have a request, please and thank you. Whoever's got a YouTube account, they don't mind commenting on a video from, don't worry, I'm not, you're not getting any flame wars or anything like that. I just don't want to be the guy to do it. Um, and don't worry, you'll be commenting on one of our videos. Um, okay. Cool. Um, here's the video. At the top of the video, it's Anarcho Syndicalism 101. At the top of the video, you'll see the Essential Libertarians. Um, black and yellow. Black and yellow. It doesn't matter, Crimson. Uh, excellent video and excellent explanation. I'd love to compare and contrast ideas on anarchy with you sometime. Uh, so here's the link I want you to post. Just reply with this. That's the that's the why ANCAPs aren't anarchists fucking playlist. Please and thank you. Oh, fuck me. Oh, I do not feel well. Oh, all right. Uh, bleh. Why is Duffy just falling three days? Oh, whatever. I don't care anymore. I don't give a shit. Ah. <coughs> <sighs> I don't even know where to start. Dude, I got a lot of fucking headlines, too. And frankly, I kind of just feel like do a, doing a, a good movie night. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like pulling this stream right now. Um, thank you, Caboose. Oop. God damn it. Why is it? Whatever. Whatever, YouTube. I don't care. Why is it not showing the comment, though? I see two replies, but they're not actually there. You know what? I don't care. I, I don't care. YouTube, go fuck yourself. Your comment system sucks. Oh, I hate this fuck. I hate, I just, I'm, I'm in a mood. I'm in a mood. I'm in a mood. I'm in a mood. Um. Oh, so anyone want to hear what Andrew Yang's dumbass fucking said? Uh, again, um, he's not our queer, right? No, that's the other fucking moron, Buttigieg. Um, Buttigieg's our fucking idiot. Andrew Yang at least doesn't belong to us. Uh, and by us, I mean the queers. Um, <clears throat> apparently Acosta asked fucking Andrew Yang about how does the forward party, because if you guys don't know, they're trying to st form a third party uh, in the U.S., which, I mean, good on you, but holy shit, is it always fucking retarded when somebody tries to start a third party in this country? Um, how does the forward party feel about Roe v. Wade? This is Andrew Yang's response. I'm not kidding you. Try and figure out this retarded ass shit. The forward party has a, has a not left or right, but forward stance on even the most uh, divisive and contentious issues. Jim Acosta, swear to God, looked at him on camera, live on CNN, and said, what does that even mean? Straight up. Even Jim Acosta on fucking CNN, live on the air, looked at Andrew Yang's dumb ass. And was like, what the fuck? What kind of stupid ass shit just fell out of your fucking mouth? What the fuck? <laughs> it's not a left or right, but a forward stance on even the most divisive and contentious issues. The fuck does that mean? Yeah, even, <laughs> even Jim Acosta. What does that even mean? <laughs> these people oh uh, he wants to be the centrist between dems and reps <sighs> whatever um anybody seen the um the cyberpunk 2077 manhole uh petition 
I'm not kidding. This is the most fucking nerdy, dorky, uh, internet-born fucking thing I have ever seen. Somebody literally started yelling at the the uh, uh, that at CD Projekt Red for manhole covers. Come on, Cy- Cyberpunk game. Of all of the bugs, this is the worst. There may be some canon reason why German manhole covers are being used in Night City, but please, DINB125 is only allow, only approved for pedestrian walkways. On roads, it should be a BEGUD400 at least to support the weight. And then somebody followed up with um, the, uh, the DIN4271, which is used for a class of B125, but is, which is not a DIN, but a category of how much weight the manhole can cover. But they are right. A, B, a class B400 should be used for an average straight, uh, streets. However, it's a C250 for low traffic streets, E600, and even an F900 for heavy traffic streets. Caboose, even I'm not that autistic. For two, this is some fucking nerds, I swear. <laughs> There's a petition. There's a petition with like a like a thousand, fifteen hundred, two thousand signatures so far. There's like a change.org petition to change the fucking manhole covers in Cyberpunk game because they're the wrong fucking technical like manhole cover for the street. the war game but for manhole covers yeah i know right (laughs) uh what are the top secret manhole diagrams gonna drop uh because because out of all the cyberpunk bugs and issues this is the real priority Uh. so man they'd be dangerous if they focused on literally anything else (laughs) uh So Martha Stewart is funny. For those of you who don't know Martha Martha Stewart, like if for those of you that are younger and haven't seen like Martha Stewart's arc, Martha Stewart's legitimately funny. Like she has a good sense of humor. By the way, uh, Martha Stewart's eighty-one. If you see a picture of Martha Stewart, remember she's eighty-one. Uh, hold on. There's a point to this. Don't worry, we're headed somewhere. Um, this is. Hold on, hold on. Here's Martha Stewart at 81, everyone. Yeah, just watch just watch her with Snoop Dogg to get it. No, she's she's legit funny. The power of money, money. Yeah. Yeah, she's legit funny. Um, she has a good sense of humor. She's like, she's an evil witch. Don't get me wrong. The bitch will fucking shank you. She, Martha Stewart will cut a bitch. Do not fucking play with Martha Stewart. Bitch will cut you. But she's 81. Um, so Martha Stewart, like legitimately funny. She was photographed, like sort of holding the hand of, um, of, uh, of oh, Jesus, Pete Davidson. Um, you know, Pete Davidson, the one that shows up on the arm of literally everyone. Um, Martha Stewart, when asked about Pete Davidson, smiled and said, he's a charming boy. Um, people lost their minds and she, she, she said she enjoyed meeting the 28 eight year old. He's a charming boy who's finding his way. And I've come in, I've invited him to come to my podcast. I look forward to hearing what he has to say, but he's like a son to me. He's a son I never had. Um, but she, she, she threw the hook out. She literally was like, Maybe I'm dead. He's a charming boy and let people lose their fucking minds. And then she's like, he's like a kid to me. He's coming on my podcast. I find him charming. That's it. But Martha knows how to fucking bait a motherfucker. Uh, I just, I was laughing my ass off. Fucking Martha Stewart's letting him roll with dating rumors with Pete Davidson. <laughs> and uh, uh, again, um, can I ask? Why is Pete Davidson famous other than banging random people at this point? Because he's not funny. I've he's not funny. Pete Davidson is not funny. I'm sorry. He's not he's not Okay, he's mildly funny, but he's not like genius concept. 
Uh, him and Kim just broke up. Jesus Christ. Is that who he was fucking last? Was the fucking Plastic McGee? Jesus Christ. <sighs> that ocean cleanup team should come by every time a Kardashian gets in the ocean. Um... He's awkward cute. A lot of people are weak to that. Fine. <laughs> Fine. Either way, I love Martha Stewart. I think she's great, despite the insert, uh, insider training. But she did some time. Yes, it was club fed, but, you know, Martha's got some fucking time on her jacket, right? She's a fucking baller just like Snoop Dogg. And while Snoop did shoot that motherfucker, uh, Martha probably would have shot that motherfucker too. <laughs> so I love Snoop Dogg and Martha Stewart. Yeah, I, I legitimately believe that, like, who said, I still think uh, it was Beast. I still say she hooks up with Snoop. I don't care whether she hooks up with Snoop. I want her to marry Snoop Dogg. I want Martha Stewart to be, like, Snoop Dogg's wife. That would be the most amazing. I, I, that's, yeah. Uh, I want to see Martha do a Shank tutorial. I mean, greatest power couple in Hollywood. Dude, they would cut a bitch. Dude, <laughs> fuck it. Fuck around and find out with Martha Stewart and Snoop Dogg. <laughs> I still love that tweet. I love that tweet. The guy who makes cookies with Martha Stewart thinks he's a gangster? God, kids. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, well, I don't know ritually, but Karina, they have, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, also, did anybody see the photo I posted of... Um, um, Dolly Parton smoking a joint with uh, Willie Nelson in the back of a, a golf cart at Dollywood because all I'm saying is Dolly, uh, Dolly Parton smoking a joint with Willie Nelson in the back of a golf cart being driven around Dollywood is uh, it's perfect. It's perfect. Oh. Yeah, correct. I figured. Um, <laughs> she, honestly, she can get a pass for the insider trading from me. Nancy can go fuck herself. She's not cool enough for the pass. Hey, buddy. Caboose. Uh, the commons. It's a ways back. Hey, Jack. Of course, do Dolly's. Dolly's from the fucking back. She's from Appalachia. Of course, she's down for a little green. Do they smoke in that part of the world? They smoke in that part of the world. They don't fucking talk about it. They smoke in that part of the world. They all do. They all do. Dude, the Deep South smokes. They smoke. They drink. They do not like the cops traditionally. Like, I don't know what this new fucking new red, nouveau redneck is, but they can go fuck themselves. I hate new rednecks. Old rednecks are badass. Why do you think the tool shed so far from the main house? Um, yeah, old rednecks are badass. They'd fight the man, they'd fucking, you know, they'd go to war with the United States government and their capitalist mine-owning masters. They'd fucking grow green corn. They'd, dis they'd, still, uh, they'd distill moonshine. They'd fucking race the cops. They'd outrace the cops. Right? Like, they don't fuck around. I, I miss old rednecks. What the fuck happened? What happened? New Nouveau rednecks are garbage. Old rednecks, badass motherfuckers I'll hang with any day of the week. <laughs> old rednecks were A-cab before A-cab was a thing. True. Yeah, my grandpa, uh, grandpa might be a tad racist, but he doesn't like cops, and he definitely smokes his crimson. <laughs> I blame country music as it went, so did the rednecks. Oh, God. All right. Um, did everybody see the Ikea in China? Just out of curiosity. Dude, I, China's fucking insane. The shit I would get to get into if I were, if I were Chinese. <gasps> no, no. Somebody, report, somebody reported that there may be somebody with COVID in the store. Here's what happens. Oh. 
Wait for it. No, motherfuckers. Nonsense, I tagged you on our server, go look. Oh yeah, here. COVID. Somebody reported that there was a uh, person with COVID in the Ikea store, so the fucking Chinese officials start fucking locking the doors trying to hold everybody in the store. Sincerely, my only thought was, how did a fu how did one of those people not get shanked on the way out? And I don't mean the people trying to push their way out. I mean the assholes trying to keep them in there. Dude, seriously, if it weren't for the surveillance state in China, honestly, I think that a lot more of their officials would probably get stabbed. Like that, that's some sketchy ass shit trying to lock people into a fucking building like that. Oh God. Anyway. I know, right? At least they're not firebombing the storage yet. Um, everybody see the fucking uh, the the fucking um, Arizona active shooter shit? How is that not right? I literally just said it was because somebody reported that somebody was exposed to COVID. What? What? I I, I non-binary. I am sick. I'm sick to my stomach. I'm nausea. Just, I'm going to be a bitch today. N you don't, don't. So what's the fucking difference, non-binary? What's the fucking difference to China? I literally, I, I said that. I don't, I don't, you know what? Whatever. <clears throat> These motherfuckers gonna get shot. These motherfuckers gonna get shot. These motherfuckers gonna get shot. And you know what? When it happens, I'm gonna be sitting there going, told you fucking so. Dude, they got in the way. There's an active shooter and the cops wouldn't let the fuck, <clears throat> there was reports of an active shooter and the cops wouldn't let the fucking parents get, get their kids. The cops fucking started stopping them again, fucking not letting them through, fucking, seriously. This is some fucking shit. Somebody's gonna get fucking shot. And it's probably gonna be a fucking cop. And then the cops are gonna open up on the fucking parents. And then there is gonna be a new era of school in this country where the parents are literally at war with the cops. And I'm gonna be here for it. I'm gonna be fucking here for it. I'm gonna laugh my ass off. <laughs> I, there would not, I gotta tell you, like, it's getting to the point where, <clears throat> I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for it. Oh, horribly, Puka. I feel like absolute garbage today. I've felt like garbage for days. 
and now I'm angry. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, it's, dude, it's happened again, only this time it didn't end up with like fucking 19 dead kids. Yeah, beast, yep, just adding up. Uh, I, dude, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Oh, of course they did, Wither. Of course. Cops, cops can never be trusted. Cops should never, look, here's the thing. Never fuck a cop. Never fuck a cop. Never fuck a cop. Never. Never. Simple as that. Fuck them. Like, just, just never. Never touch them. They are violent. They are extremists. They hate the public. They hate children. They are fucking rapists. They're largely pedophiles. They're, uh, they're fucking violent as a motherfucker. They assault random people on the street. Cops are the worst garbage people on the face of the planet, including the CCP. Because the CCP is nothing but a bunch of fucking cops. I swear to motherfucking God. Right? And now you're watching cops again in a different area do the exact same thing that the Uvalde cops did. Try and prevent parents from pr protecting their children because the cops are not going to protect their children. In an active shooter situation, the cops are going to let your kids die until they're not in danger anymore and then they'll go in and, uh, and pretend to play hero. Unlike a fucking firefighter who would just run in and risk their own life and do some shit. They did it again, they're gonna do it again. Fucking, I'm waiting for a parent to put up uh, fucking, when that cop was bent over that dude, I was expecting somebody to walk up and just put a gun to their fucking head and pull the trigger, frankly. I am waiting for that to happen at this point. It is going to be a fucking summary execution of a cop on the scene at this point, somebody is going to do some shit at a school. Parents are going to try and get their kids. The cops are going to get violent trying to prevent the parents from protecting their children. And one of these crazy motherfuckers is eventually going to cross the line and a parent is going to just put a cop down. And it's going to be a whole new era of relations with cops. How much the anarchist chance to say I told you so it wasn't going to be over bodies of dead children, but it looks like we're not going to be getting that choice. <laughs> Whatever. Wither. Yeah, it always is. <clears throat> oh, cupcake. I love, I love, I love the Trump FBI fucking anger shit. Dude, I, I, this is hilarious. These fucking QAnon morons. Fucking, where's the one in, was it Baltimore or whatever? This fucking moron got rounded up like the idiot that he was. Fucking took to Twitter telling the FBI that he was going to like slaughter them all or some shit. And he was coming for them and shit like, come, come, oh, he said, come get me. Uh, like, you know, that sort of shit. Like he literally was, oh my God, FBI showed up and arrested him. He's like, fucking come at me, bro. And the FBI's like, uh, FBI's like, um, okay. They fucking just whoop, rounded that motherfucker up. Back the blue, unless they arrest my guy. Oh. Uh. Hey, Yeah. Yeah, nonsense. Of course I should. Uh, what are you going to do? Stab me? Man, who was stabbed? Um, yeah. Yeah, Cincinnati, fucking Capitol. There's another one in Baltimore that was fucking... Yeah, no, they're, they're starting to kick off. Uh, fuck them. Fuck around and find out. Y'all want to see some racism? <sighs> Axel, I'm surprised they're having... I, I'm not that surprised, actually, Axel, because they're mostly cowards and fucking, you know, LARPers. So I'm not too terribly surprised, actually, that there haven't been more, because let's face it, most of the Trump supporters 
They're like a thousand pound greasy LARPers. They can't, they can't run an op. They can't run to their own refrigerator, let alone an op. Oh. oh, Marcus, please say no. Would that really stop you? I mean, it might, Marcus. Uh, Mar oh, Marcus, you're going to love this racism. Marcus, this is especially for you. Oh, Marcus, you're going to love this one. Um, yeah, let's look at some racism. Happy birthday, Marcus. Got your racism. other one i have another one this is this this happened a few times over the weekend actually um apparently black twitter was on a bit of a bend uh bender this weekend um there's also one that shows oh god i wish i don't know where i have it i have fucking oh <sighs> Is this? Oh, this. That's why I'm not seeing it. Hold on, give me one sec. House of Winds. House of Windsor. It is. It's like a, re a reverse white genocide sort of situation. <laughs> House of Windsor. Uh, where is? Ah, I can't find the other one. Oh, there was a there was a good one. Somebody posted a uh, black Twitter po posted an infographic of um, a smiling uh, pair of black grandparents uh, and just like black, 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 all the way down. Like it was just it was just black people and just kids and everybody smiling. And then the right one um, is uh, the the comic one that looks like a cutesy uh, third right poster. And then the right hand one is pissed off grandparents because the kid married a white woman and then they have a kid and everybody's fucking and then by like the bottom pane everybody's white and everybody above them is like looking down angrily and that sort of thing it's just yeah black black twitter was apparently on a bit of a racist kick this weekend um i caught part of it uh no not the melanin <clears throat> <laughs> no nonsense. Uh, let's see. That's Pat Mahomes and his son, Pat Mahomes, Mahomes Jr., uh, both tremendous athletes. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, and nonsense, I don't know if you heard me, but I tagged you on our server. I, I, I posted an article you may be interested in. Where I put that one? Oh, well. Um. Yeah. So, where is everybody everybody ready for some really really painful capitalism? If anybody doesn't have the twelve hundred and sixty dollars for um, six safety pins, um, <clears throat> ambush. Uh, I'm sorry, Farfetch also sells a um, a uh, a bracelet that is a blue zip tie for six hundred. Um, sorry, five hundred and eighty eight dollars. Um, so if you if you don't have the twelve hundred and sixty pores, um. 
there is there is a there is a there's literally a blue plastic zip tie as a bracelet that is five hundred and eighty eight dollars. So you know that. <sighs> oh, they're not caboose. They're not. They're plated. They're not. They're plated. Yeah. There's, there's, there's twenty bucks worth of materials there, and labor at most. Seriously. Yeah. At most. Mm. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? There you go. Yes, for Toos. That is Marge. <laughs> what are they summoning? <laughs> Exorcism didn't work. It is. It's MTG. I don't know, Aka, if we lay hands correctly, it might. They're laying hands, Cupcake. They're laying hands. Now, I understand a heathen, uh, a heathen Jew like you wouldn't understand what the, what the Christians are up to. They're laying hands. Yes, they're they're praying. <laughs> oh, <laughs> exactly, beast. If you lay the hands correctly, you might. Uh, <laughs> magic hands. <laughs> Don't touch her. That's evil and dumb. Doesn't wash off. Uh, <laughs> MTG Christian porno parody porno when. Um. Yeah, yeah, Karina, no, she is, yeah. I wonder how Milo's doing. <laughs> oh, can we trade her for Brittany Grenier? <laughs> All right. This is going to hurt. It's going to hurt. It's not going to hurt that badly, so don't worry, but... <laughs> a great Karen Tulu awakens. Wait, did, did you drop that earlier? They say, hey, someone's summoning Karen Tulu. All right, hey, lone survivor. <sighs> Over this old MTV. Kai over here gently doubling down. The ridiculous political grandstanding of a break into a very storied, important, and high visibility place uh, just before the midterm elections. The whole world was watching as the FBI rummaged through the house, including the dresser of the former first lady inside every closet in her clothing, and no supervision alone and unchecked. They also demanded the security cameras not only be turned off, but removed. We told them no, but there was no way of knowing if they, what they took was legitimate or was secretly planted. This was after all the FBI. And then this person fucking started to fucking doing the, uh, Oh, Jesus Christ. It spells DeSantis over here. It's, fu oh, God. I just, the QAnoners, uh, when they get creative, I enjoy them. But that sort of shit annoys the fuck out of me. <laughs> Motherfuckers Pythagoras with it. All right. So... Welcome to a truly cursed image, and there's nothing you can do to stop it. Mm. 
<laughs> Caboose. God has abandoned us. With ham, it's not terrible, Aka, but pineapple as a pizza? Oh, wither. Yes, Karina, the entire pizza, the entire base is a half of a pineapple. Just cut. Pizza. Yeah, there is no crust there. It's just a pineapple. <laughs> For those of you who are... Uh, <clears throat> I feel like leftists as a collective could bear, uh, could bear to get better at fighting. This is a pretty bad idea. Upper body strength in men is positively correlated with right-wing political views. And do you really want the left represented by people who share the fascist aesthetic? The concept of physical health, beauty, and body strength is oppressive anyways. It implies some people are physically superior and others inferior based on arbitrary standards and social constructs. We're valuable and equal. Uh, we're all valuable and equal as human beings. I hate the left. I hate the left. I hate the left. Unfortunately, whether it's not, I know where it comes from. <sighs> Let's see. We'll have to fucking idiots. We're so screwed. But like, <laughs> oh, it just. Dig, are you here? It's Dig here. I knew you were here earlier, but. Dig, did you see the Fremont video? The quote unquote Fremont Olympics? There you go, Dick. <sighs> Hepatitis of the chlamydia, of the monkeypox, of the AIDS, of the cancer. Like, that is, I mean, you have no idea. I mean, yeah, that's Fremont. That's our downtown, Jack. That's that's downtown Las Vegas after it's been rained on so all of the whatever comes up and then this dude's sliding on it. Like, I'm, I'm not kidding you. This is, this is, this is, this is hepatitis of the chlamydia of, of the monkeypox of the AIDS, of the cancer. Like, it's it's sincerely. Like, I'm surprised he didn't stand up like a pin cushion with fucking needles sticking out of him. Like, legitimately, that is the most disgusting shit you could do. I've, I'm, I've seen people eat puke and eat shit sexually. Far less disgusting than sliding on Fremont Street after it's rained. It, ugh. The grossest thing you can do in Vegas, in my opinion, says Dig. Yeah, 100%. He, he went full Pokemon and captured every STD or STI. Uh, yes, he was barefoot too. Oh, God. Oh. Funny thing, I've been watching political videos. Somebody in my chat complained about one of the people for using words like dumb, stupid, and crazy. When I was like, yeah, but I say it all the time and you never say anything or said, but they have an audience. And I was like, that's, and there's where the issues are, says public. 
Uh, it's like that chick on Twitter public who's calling out people for ableism and how these are replacement words for ableist terms you should use. Meanwhile, she's used all of them, but she left off retard off the list. She's like, she's fucking, of all the ableist terms, she didn't even mention that one. It was just, it was, God, I, these people are so fucking stupid. Um, ugh. Oh, Eve. Um. Oh yeah. Um. Oh, let me refresh. See if those replies work yet. <laughs> Whatever. I don't care. Some it works. Uh Is this? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um. I'm so gonna get DMCA'd for this, but it's okay. Um, <clears throat> protesters at Planned Parenthood. Sorry for the dude. Yeah, right, Jack. He's just dead inside. That, like, I, I, a hundred percent. I almost feel sorry for the dude protesting. Fucking Planned Parenthood. He looks so dead inside. Uh, that guy's just. When he bends over in front of him and that dude just sort of like glances down just like uh, and then just looks ahead of him straight ahead for the night it's just like <laughs> i legitimately almost feel sorry for the guy don't touch me i'm not touching you <laughs> oh <laughs> Peak, I'm not touching you. <laughs> oh, I, I legitimately almost feel sorry for him. Uh, oh, um, <clears throat> uh, new grift dropped. New grift dropped uh, for all of my queers. For all of my queers, new drift dropped. <laughs> Um, if you have a, um, a homophobic, <laughs> yep, that's me. No, not that guy. That guy. You're probably wondering how I got into this situation. <laughs> hey, Karina. Keyword. Almost. Um, so if you've got like a, a, a gay, pho a homophobic, just phobic, if you've got a phobic family member and they're like super into like conversion therapy and Christianity and shit like that, congratulations. New grift drops. Here's what you got to do. Um, contact them. Tell them, explain to them how you've seen the light and you're trying to become cishet. Um, and there's classes that you want to take, but they're expensive. Conversion therapy is expensive and you want it to be a surprise to the rest of the family. So you're going to need $8,500 to $15,000 is generally how those conversion therapies work. So about $8,500 to $15,000, uh, you know, to be straight. Feel free to do what you want with the money after that. I think it would work. Uh, Jack, it's very expensive. Yes. Like my daughter's girlfriend's family. Yeah, yeah. just go for it. Fucking grift the shit out of them. And then tell them it didn't work. Tell them it didn't take the first time and go for a second round if they're dumb enough. Seriously. Fuck them.
Papa John. Uh, I'm gay now? <laughs> yeah, beast. It's, it's a set of circumstances, but if you have the right family with the right amount of money, I'm just saying. Yeah. New grift dropped. Go, run, use it. Oh, all right, what do we got? I'm gonna open a conversion therapy center that just serves margaritas by the pool for two. So I've heard about that one as well. I've I've literally heard some queers talking about that one before. We like why don't we just open a conversion therapy center that does does nothing? That might have been on this stream actually that we talked about that. That like they're like we should just open a conversion therapy center that does nothing. Oh, it was a, oh it was a, it was one of the Christian camps. That's what we were like. Let's open a camp for kids. That's a conversion camp for, for Christian kids and then not traumatize the kids and just take the parents' money. Just give them a good summer camp. BC, I think we were tossing around that last week. Hey, I mean, yeah. Can I be Kentucky if that's, yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. No, we haven't heard from him recently. Exactly. Just teach them how to lie, fake it to their parents. Just lie to your parents. Um. Okay, we'll do that. Can't show that on stream. Can't show that on stream. Uh. I also got a new talking point from the Heritage Foundation. There's a rich debate about whether or not a document is declassified if the president decided not to not communicate it outside. <sighs> Fuck you, Jack. How dare you make me read that, Jack? How dare you re make me read that, Jack? <laughs> it's the dumbest shit. Whether if Doc. Huh. There's a doc if a document is declassified in the forest, but no one's there to see it, is it still a secret? Oh god, I fucking hate these people. Jesus. Alright, who wants a good joke? somewhere oh over here 
Oh, Jesus. Oh, uh, good joke or good joke? No, I think it's a good joke. It's a dark joke, but it's a good joke. I like it. I think it's funny. Dude, the fucking right wingers would. Oh, God. I too have seen that Twitter comment discuss. So back in college, I had the worst friends, right? I had the worst friends of all time. So my friends jokingly put four Viagras in my Tic Tac container, right? And they told me immediately, but I forgot and chugged the Tic Tacs right before my first day lifeguarding at a children's pool. <laughs> as soon as I start lifeguarding the kids, I get the biggest boner of my fucking life. And worried that I'm overdosing on Viagra, I go sprint to check the Tic Tacs, praying I only took one Viagra, Worst case scenario, all four of the Viagras were still there. <laughs> I think it's funny. <laughs> oh, that's a solid joke. It's a solid joke. Perfect structure. Yep. No, it's, it's, it's subversion of expectations. It's perfect joke structure. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> For twos. Oh, um. Dig. Dig. Do you remember the guy... Um, back in 2004, I know, dig, you fucking, it's, this is a stretch. Uh, they identified one of the bodies they found in Lake Mead. Uh, when the, when the water level came down and we started finding a bunch of bodies, they identified one of the bodies. Um, it was, uh, Kenneth Funk. He died back in 2004. He died. He died of a heart attack while trying to save his wife from drowning. Hey, Ramsey. Um, they never found the wife either. Um, but yeah, he jumped in to save his wife who was drowning and he, he himself had a heart attack in the stress. Um, so yeah, we, we identified one of the bodies at least so far, dig. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, you know, we've been we've been finding bodies. God wanted that wife dead. Uh Jack, it does. Yeah, it does. I know, right, Dick? Jesus Christ. Teachers now, old man. It jack a hundred percent, hundred percent. I remember the days when you could just have a sad wank in the work bathroom. I'm not one of those like quote image guys, but I saw one the other day that spoke to me on like a spiritual level because I deal with a fucking, because I deal with the left, because I deal with the left, right? That's, that's, just, that's just, I saw this and it spoke to me. <sighs> oh, 
Like you can think about something without accepting it. You know that, right? Like you can, you can entertain an idea without accepting the idea. I, I just, I feel like I have to explain that to people for some reason. I don't, Beast, I don't really give a shit. Caboose, I don't, I t you know, they're always, they're, I don't deal with the right ones. I just fucking, you know, talk them down and move on. <clears throat> I don't know whether it's a lack of education. I know some fucking highly educated people that do that shit. Um, John Deere got cracked, by the way. <laughs> John Deere got cracked. For those of us that follow this level of technology, um, John Deere got cracked. Uh, John Deere's um, firmware is finally broken. It is jailbroken. Hey, Rumble. Um, sick codes figured it out. Sick codes fucking published. Um, they jailbroke John Deere officially. Um, you want to know why it took so long? Well, you want to know why it took so long? Because they're running on outdated, unpatched Linux and Windows CE hardware with LTE modems that are basically not supported at any, uh, at any software level anymore. That's why it took so long is because everybody, it, they're dealing with shit that isn't even supported basically. Yeah. It's unpatched, old school unpatched Linux kernels and Windows CE hardware with an over the air LTE modem. That's why none, none of, none of the security researchers expected it. Seriously. Yeah. So it's finally cracked. Firmware's done. Yeah. It, it's. <laughs> Yep, job done. It's a new era of hardware for for farming, and yeah, um, beast, call me call B. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, they um, John Deere maintained when they spoke to regulators about this. By the way, uh, John Deere maintained that uh, farmers couldn't be trusted to repair their own equipment due to the high tech nature of the gear. And when security research, uh, researchers finally just peeled all the layers apart, what they found was absolute rubbish. They found complete garbage that was unpatched, unsecured, running on shit it shouldn't run on. It was... <laughs> no, uh, no, 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 Karina. That is, that is the... That's the modern tech. Yeah, that's, that's... Yeah. Yeah, we're not talking about stuff from 1990, 98, 97, fucking 2004. We're talking about like 2002, uh, 2020, 2021. Yeah. This is, this is why it was a thing. It's because it's fuck. It's like, it's like running a fucking, I don't know, a reel to reel or something. It's, it's just like, oh, our fucking hardware can't be worked on by farmers because it's so secure and they wouldn't know what to do. You're running a punch card system. What's wrong with you? Right? It's like that. It's like that. They're using antiquated equipment. Ah. <sighs> Oh, they are. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I can't, I can't show you this image on, on channel. It's not gory. It's going to be, it's going to be in chat. Um, it's just, it's, it's this image that was being circulated by Christians. Um, so link in chat in a second. It's, it is of a sexual nature. Know that. Um, it's, 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 it's drawn, not, not an actual picture. It's drawn. Um, but it basically says, this is what happens when sinners have premarital sex. And 
basically the long and short of it is jokes on you i'm into that shit is basically the long and short of it yeah so enjoy 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 That's certainly a picture you could draw. Uh, of course you haven't, Dig. Good on you. So, who wants to see innovation under capitalism? Oh, no, of course not. Karina, of course not. So, you ready? This is this is this is innovation under capitalism, everyone. Are you ready? Are you ready? Aka? Aka? It might as well be. It might as well be. Honestly, the safety pins is probably more creative than this. I I'll tell you right now, the safety pins are probably more creative than this. Oh, Jack? Jack. 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 So close. So close. So close, Jack. What's up, Noon? I told you, you were so close, Jack. Capitalism gives us choice. <laughs> but wait, there's more. <laughs> you can ask. <laughs> I just, I can't anymore. I can't. I can't. <laughs> it's, it's so stupid. Uh, <laughs> chips flavored like other chips. <laughs> it's so stupid. I'm sorry. It just broke me. It just broke me. I just broke. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh my god, it's it's chip flavored chips, people. I can't. <laughs> oh, oh god. Oh. Oh. Oh, interesting. Non-binary. I think I've actually seen that once or once before. Not not in Sweden, but I think I've seen that before. Uh, what flavor chips are those? <laughs> Different chip. Oh god, it's just so stupid. Oh, it's so. Oh, it's so stupid. Oh, it's so stupid. Oh. Can't wait for Lay's potato chip flavored Doritos. Are we experiencing the beginning of the singularity? <laughs> it's just so bad. Uh. <laughs> Yo, dog, I heard you like chips. <sighs> but, but capitalism gives us innovation. Oh, God. Next year will be original Lay's flavored baked Lay's. <laughs> what about a bag of chips that isn't three quarters air? It's not air, it's nitrogen. <laughs> now, air is mostly nitrogen, so I will give you that. 
Um, <laughs> there's reasons, but oh, God, I've never been happy with them. Um, all right, everybody. This isn't going to be nearly. Uh, all right. Canada. Can no, you don't use Canada checking in. Canada checking in. Your vehicle no. as a weapon. You what? guys are involved in the COVID crime, and we're placing these off. Get off the no, you don't use your vehicle no. as a weapon. You what? guys are involved in the COVID crime, and we're placing these all under arrest. No, 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 no. Hey, oh, 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 hey, oh, 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 for those trying to figure out what's going on, a bunch of can, uh, of Canadian QAnon cult members attempted to citizens arrest cops for their COVID crimes. Yes, a bunch of Canadian, Q, you heard this correctly, a bunch of QAnon Canadian cult members decided they were going to arrest the cops for COVID crimes. Let's see how that goes. No, you don't use your vehicle you as a weapon. You what? guys are involved in the COVID crime, and we're placing these all under arrest. No, 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 no. Hey, oh, 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 Please Jack. stand down! Stand down! Stand down! You guys are under arrest, citizens. Stand arrest. down! Stand down! Keep your hands off of her. I saw that on camera. Yeah, yeah I, I saw got it that too. On camera. Hey, Handle you guys, off Frank! Frank. Hand behind your back. No, Wither, it doesn't. Stand down, please. You're it under really arrest. doesn't. Stand down! Stand down! Left hand now behind your back. You police are under arrest. Stand down. You are under arrest. Do you have any idea the world's awake to this bullshit? And get that off his head like that. You get that shirt off his face. Hey, right now. Stand down. Stand down. Stand down! You That's brutal abuse! Hey! 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 Get it! Get it! Get it! Get it! Get it! Get it! Get Hey! Yo! Hey! Just give me a name. Wish I had some chip flavored chips right now. That's a nice suggest! Get loose! Stand down! Stand down! Hey! Hey! Yo! You're hurting them! Holy fuck! Jesus Christ! This is police violence! Yeah! I mean, fuck the QAnoners, but I got to tell you, I really wish that they, they outnumbered the cops like 40 or 50 to one here. So the cops could get a taste of it. Like, I know the QAnoners need a taste of it. Trust me. Trust me, I know. Right? Like, welcome to the fucking party. Right? But, uh, you know, I can't help but hate the fucking cops and hate the state. I would love to see the cops, like, try and fucking, you know, we're going to citizens arrest you. No, you're not. We're going to arrest you. And then the fucking crowd says, no, Uno reverse card. Right? And just fucking... I would love to see them just the cops be outnumbered and just get very scared and want run away for, uh, and and be perfectly fine. Yeah. 
Welcome to the Ouroboros of Cunts, Arresting Cunts. No, 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 Let him go! What the fuck did he do? What did he do? We got it all, man! We got it all! Video tape! What the fuck did he do? We got it! Video tape! What did he do? What did he do? What did he do? Promoting a fake COVID-19! Do it! Do it! Fucking lunatic! Fucking lunatic! Fucking lunatic! Fucking lunatic! Fucking lunatic! Go to jail, buddy! And your arrest. What's your name and number, buddy? Name and number! Name and number, let's go! They're fine. Isn't it great just to sit back and watch it? I mean, I you know, fuck QAnon, but fuck, you know, QAnon cops, QAnon cops, QAnon cops. You know, in this instance, I really want to fucking racist for two. They're chanting racist at them. Yeah. You can tell this is Canada. No one got shot or taste. <sighs> yeah, I know. Public. I mean, you know. For two. For two. For two. For two. Do yourself a favor. Just don't. Don't think about it. Don't think about it, man. Don't think about it. <laughs> I thought they were yelling Masons. <coughs> so we do we dare talk about the um Jack <sighs> Do we dare talk about what happened in um <clears throat> in London? There might have been a bit of looting in London. Not covered very much by uh, the mainstream media in Britain, by the way. Um, this is a um, touchy one. There might have been... Um, something in common. Uh, with those who were doing the um, appropriation of goods, shall we say, um, that was uncomfortable to discuss. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Crimson? I, uh, Jack, let's just say some righties love this. There might have been some coordinated thievery going on. Just, you know, sort of up and down the street. <clears throat> Difficult to discuss for a variety of reasons. <laughs> This is a new TikTok challenger stack. Oh. 
It was central London. Um, it was the Oxford Circus area. Uh, shop, multiple shops got hit. Fighting, jumping on luxury cars, assaulting a few police officers. Um, yeah, um, several <clears throat> groups were going around in some sort of coordinated fashion uh, to the various shops, stealing a variety of items, blah, 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 blah. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Jack, uh, Jack, this is a minefield. <sighs> it really is. Um, nobody wants to talk about why. Most people want to talk about who. The who is a very bad look. Admittedly so. Only took three years, but now the right has something to point at. Finally. <laughs> For twos, I disavow. Yep. Nobody wants to talk about the why. Everybody wants to talk about the who. So, I mean, it's Oxford Circus. It's 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 rich. It's well to do. It's touristy. It's money. It's spendy. It's. <sighs> How do you not look at it and say, where's my piece of it? Wither. This isn't one we can love. It's because n nothing good came of it. Wither. Nothing of any value was really taken. Handfuls of candy. Handful t-shirts, nothing, no life-changing goods, you know, as Marcus put the quote for the, you know, this is my 40 acres, I'll be back for the mule. There was nothing worth 40 acres. There was nothing worth a mule. But you know what it did do? It threw a lot of fuel on the fire of a bunch of racist assholes flames. Um, so in the end, all that happened was some young people managed to get their jollies off. Nothing for survival, nothing for the cause. Um, yeah, it, it's it, it was just young people doing young people dumb shit, making a lot of people look really, really bad. Um, so, you know, nothing was accomplished. Like they didn't hit, they didn't hit the Bank of England. Yeah, at least Americans take valuable shit, says Jack, right? Like, they didn't hit the Bank of England. Um, they didn't hit, like, you know, they, nothing nothing special happened other than a bunch of store owners got their stores completely vandalized and raked over by a bunch of kids, by young people. Um, yeah. Uh, Rye. Rye, it didn't make local news. There were very literally British people who were commenting on the chains saying, I haven't seen anything about this in our media. <sighs> so, like, it, 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 the fact that nobody was willing to talk about it made it even worse and weirder and sketchier. It seemed like the system was protecting them because they were black which fed into the narrative on the other side, right? It isn't, nothing was helped. Nothing, only harm was done in that situation. I, you know, I love a bit of chaos as much as the next guy. I love, you know, seeing a little bit of havoc wreaked upon the, the capitalist state. But a lot of those businesses were probably, you know, like independently owned. They're not corporate run, some of them. Yeah, it's a lose-lose situation. It really is. Um, and the dis the fact that nobody was willing to... The point of no coverage is exactly what it achieves, says Rumble. Um, fucking... Yeah, the, the fact that nobody was willing to discuss it in the way that nobody was willing to discuss it, especially within the media, uh, especially within British media, 
fed into that narrative cycle even more and just fan those flames even more. And it's just one more quill, one more feather in their cap, one more thing that the racist right-wingers can point to and be like, see, this is what they're like. It should have been addressed immediately. Immediately it should have been addressed. Repudiated and condemned by any like local black leadership. Fucking just be like, look, you shouldn't have to. But the fact of the matter is, is you have to. This is, this is why Muslim leadership, anytime there's like a, you know, a Muslim involved in attack on anybody who isn't Muslim, fucking Muslim leadership comes out and like repudiates them immediately because you have to. Like this is just optics and politics at this point. It just is. The whole situation is just stupid and fucked. Marcus, I agree. Especially, did you see faces? Faces. Faces were recorded in the heaviest fucking, one of the, the heaviest monitored city in the world, I believe. Londoners, right? London? Heaviest monitored city in the world, CCTV, right? They went out like without facial coverings. And just did this. Like, this is the dumbest shit I've seen in a while from multiple standpoints. Yeah. Yeah, public. Yeah, you need that deniability. Anyway. Narcus. Yeah, I'm more insulted at the bungling than anything else. I dude, I hate bad criminals, Marcus. I hate bad criminals. I hate bad criminals. I don't I don't care about criminals. Just so you know, I don't care about criminals, really. As long as you don't like harm somebody, I don't care. Honestly, I don't I don't I don't care about criminals. Um, I hate bad criminals, though. Like, if you're going to steal something and you're, like, cat burglaring your way in, fucking Simon Templar, you fucking, you know, you're climbing up the side of a building and you're fucking laser cutting through glass and you're fucking stealing shit, cool. Right? Coordinated hit, everybody masked up, fucking teamwork, execute, disappear into the night, cool. Dude walks into a fucking store with no mask on and just starts slamming shit with a baseball bat and fucking grabs some stuff and runs out. Fuck that guy. Fuck that guy. I I I like I I I I I have no I there's no loss of love for a shitty criminal. Right? Like but if you if you execute correctly, fine. If that were all masked dudes and they just swarmed through and they uh Simon Templar, that's a deep cut. <laughs> um, if they swarmed in there and, and managed to walk off with that Lamborghini in that shot, if they managed to like walk out with fucking cash registers worth of cash and they managed to walk, like, I'd be like, okay, that was, you know, like how many arrests were there? None. Wait, what? None. They got away with it. Holy shit, man. Right? Like I'd be impressed. I'd be down for it. But the fact that there's just a bunch of fucking dumb black teens looting a candy store and causing problems for their local community and i i get that the 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 you know the circus area isn't their local community what i'm saying is that when they go back to their local community they're now going to be even increased suspicion and targeting because of x y and z right um so like they're they're just causing more trouble for their own community at this point and it's just it's like oh fuck you fuck you <clears throat> they get nothing the right gets great shots of bad optics yep <clears throat> D.B. Cooper. Yeah, seems like the Saints are few and far between. Ah, oh, they do. They did manage to grab a few chip-flavored chip packets, though. Did Kibbs Bop ever do a cover at Candy Shop? <laughs> no, this is England. All the chips are prawn flavored. <laughs> Jesus. Shh, 
shrimp flavored chips is the most one of the most disgusting things outside of mushy peas. By the way, I think Britain should be wiped off the map for mushy peas alone. <clears throat> forget forget all of the raping and pillaging that England did. All right, the mushy peas. This is the crime against humanity. This is the reason we should glass that fucking island. Mushy peas. Fuck these people. <laughs> uh Sure, genocides are bad, but I mean, mushy peas. I just can't with the mushy peas. It's just, ugh. Yeah, wither. When we say kids, I'm saying kids like I say kids. Not actual kids, probably. That's the problem, is they should be aware, know better, something like that. <sighs> oh, interesting. <clears throat> Beast. Optics do kind of matter, says public. And Marcus with a with with a paragraph. Um, yeah, the workers will fuck. The workers will be the workers will be punished for it. The workers will be punished for it. The workers will be punished for it. Oh god, the workers will be punished for it. Oh, yeah, it's so short sighted. Oddly, this reminds me, and you probably remember at least uh, people remember the Boondocks episode where R. Kelly or OJ were acquitted the first. It's R. Kelly, yeah, uh, were acquitted the first time. A lot of pe black people were like, obviously guilty, but so uh, then we're sort of the cops who beat Rodney King. They just would be as scared as we are. It's not the healthiest mindset, says Marcus. <sighs> That I, I dude, I need to go back and rewatch the Boondocks. First three seasons. Everything after that is garbage. Um, I know they brought Aaron back for like five or something. Either way, season four, Boondocks, Aaron Magruder wasn't on. Like he would he they got rid of it either way. First three seasons of Boondocks. Some of the most amazing TV ever made. It's just brilliant. Uh, it's kind of the first we need more trans drone, pi uh, drone, uh, drone pilots as public. I know, right? It is. It's in that category. It's like this is this is this is um oh this is retributive justice rather than uh restorative justice mentality right it's they've done worse to us so we can do to them sort of mentality it, it's it's a retributive justice it's re retribution rather than restorative justice it's 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 the wrong mentality it just is i understand why i get it like I'm not far into the psychology of it, but bet it feels good too. I don't bet I know it does, but like you know, yeah, it, it's it's something that we on the left should not be encouraging because, like, I mean, if you want to expropriate state goods or capitalist buildings, if you want to expropriate a Bank of America building and uh, house trans homeless people there. Fuck yes, right? If all those kids want to like harm the system and get theirs, go join anal, right? Go join the autonomous nation of anarchist liberators or whatever the fuck that full acronym is, right? Go join some fucking people doing shit, not just busting up a candy store and fucking like, you know, banging the side of a Lambo on a fucking street and shit. That's all you're going to do is make black people look bad, give racists more ammo, and fucking uh, get the state to come down on you even harder. Like, go do some shit. It, it's, it's, <clears throat> it's retributive, not restorative. It's, a, it's, a, it's the wrong mentality. <clears throat> go join anal. Sounds interesting. Uh, honestly, it reminds me of the way the right act is this public. It, it is, and it's, it shouldn't be encouraged. I understand it, right? But I'm not going to justify it. 
I'm not going to sit here and say somehow that that was power to the people and that was a strike that was striking back at the man. That was just destruction for destruction's sake and stupid. Just was. I don't even know if it expresses anger, public. Frankly, I don't even know if that properly expresses anger. It seems extraordinarily short-sighted. John Doe isn't the system, kids. Remember that. <clears throat> public, actually, yeah, you're right. It's just like a joyride. Public. Spot the fuck on. Spot the fuck on. It's a joyride. It's a joyride. Yeah. <sighs> Marcus, plus, I'd like to watch the news without playing a game of, oh, God, don't let the burglar be black this time. God fucking damn it. <laughs> Marcus. <laughs> I wish I could repeat on air some of the shit I've I've heard sitting with boyfriends, families, and you know, at the cookout and shit when shit goes down. Dude, I remember the Washington sniper Marcus. <laughs> I remember the Washington the DC sniper. The DC sniper was the funniest shit. You should have you should have I for all the white folk. Oh my god, if you were like with with black people at the time that we found out the DC sniper was black. <laughs> it was the funniest shit. <laughs> Cause that had crazy white boy written all over it. That had crazy white boy written all over it. <laughs> I remember my boyfriend's fucking brother. I remember my boyfriend's brother fucking yelling at the TV. Oh my god. <laughs> It was so funny. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, <laughs> oh, God. I don't doubt it. Yes, I remember them. I learned a lot of new words at eight when they got caught, says Marcus. <laughs> it was so bad. Oh, God. That was a funny day. <laughs> that was a funny day. Oh. What's up, Deirdre? This, this, right here, this month, this, mm, mm, this, 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 mm, mm. yeah, oh, it was so, oh, uh, we can have a laugh now, right? It's far enough removed, right? Yeah, public, it was, it was hilarious. <laughs> why, why, just, why, just react <laughs> when they arrested him. Oh, God. <laughs> White people watch this shit. Uh. <laughs> Unrelated. Turns out you can make complete sentences out of only swears in the N-word. Who knew, says Marcus. <laughs> oh, it was, it was. Ha oh, God. <laughs> can we do this? I'm going to move us over to just chatting for this. Hold on. Hold on. This is completely politically incorrect. This is completely politically incorrect. Hold on. How to name your Asian baby. King song ding dong. Had a name, you Australian baby. Roy, Roy, my, Roy, my, Roy, 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 my. How to name your Indian baby? <laughs> He's got the accents down so well, too. Uh. Oh. 
Oh. <laughs> oh god, it's so bad. It's so bad. When I saw that, though, I laughed my fucking tits off. I was like, he's got the accents down perfectly, too. Ah. Oh. Caboose, um, for black families, th there's a very real thing amongst black people, white people who are watching. It's a very real thing amongst black families. White people are watching. Right? Fucking, if a white dude does something, it's just something a white dude did. It's just, it's just a thing a dude did, right? If a black dude does something, it's something black people did. And black people are very aware of this. They're very aware of the sort of cultural stigmatization that happens collectively against their people when one of them does something, right? <clears throat> so there's very much a thing that's taught and understood um, within, the, within the black milieu, the black community in America is that white people are watching. Knock that the fuck off. White people are watching. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a thing. It's a thing. They're, they're, they're hyper aware of it. Yeah. Oh, Jack, do you not know the story of the DC sniper? Oh, it's insane. Oh, yeah. Okay, so one, Gulf War Syndrome um, definitely is a part of it. Two, his ex-wife fucked him over hardcore, broke him in a very real way. Um, and then, you know, three, dude was a little unhinged to start with. Yeah, it's basically agent. It's basically Gulf War syndrome plus PTSD plus ex-wife syndrome. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a fascinating fucking story. Yeah, she she fucked him over. Um, <laughs> that that's uh, um yeah yeah um it, it basically the long and short of it is here's the speculation. Nobody knows this for sure. Nobody knows this for sure, but the wife was on the list. The ex-wife is, <clears throat> yes, Crimson. He brainwashed a kid. Yeah, 100% he brainwashed a kid. Um, the ex-wife was on the list. She was like further down the list. They didn't get to her. The, the speculative theory behind it is the entire murder, the entire spree was cover to hide the eventual assassination of his ex-wife. Not kidding you. That's the speculative theory behind it, is that it wasn't that he just snapped and like brainwashed a kid into being a sniper and going on a killing spree, but it was actually a concocted plan in order to execute his ex-wife and hide her amongst the list of victims. Yeah, that's always been the sort of like, probably what was going on theory, but he didn't get around to it. Yeah, Marcus. Yeah. Yeah, that kid was... Oh, that poor kid. Hey, Ancelari, go fuck yourself, just so you know. I just saw that comment. <clears throat> Name, later, sleep well. I couldn't tell you, Rye, when the, when the DC sniper was. It's been a minute. He's in jail. He's in jail. Kid's in jail. Yeah. Yeah, the dude was... He was, he was put down, right? He was executed, but... I'm pretty sure he was executed. Uh, but the kid, the kid's in jail. Vladimir Putin is claiming that Russians, uh, Russia's we uh, weapons are now decades ahead of the West's counterparts. Just FYI. Um, <clears throat> I 
Many of them are years, maybe decades ahead of their foreign counterparts in terms of tactical and technical characteristics and are significantly superior to them. Quote, unquote. We're talking about high precision weapons and robotics combat systems based on new physical principles. Replay. Cool story, bro. <laughs> Fanfic. Ramsey, he's adorable sometimes. <laughs> uh... Same barrel making as their rifles, really. <laughs> they got them that new Chinese AR ammo, AR that slings sideways ammo. Holy shit! Did they create the first Space Marines? Cope cages, state of the art technology. <sighs> so the Primarchs based on his gene code. Uh, Carapo, because libertarians generally are just. Uh, yeah, Deirdre, new physics, a new, a new physical principles just dropped. New physics just dropped. Didn't you catch? Yeah. No, no, Caboose. Jack is not viscous. Viscous is Ray the gay away. I'll be right back. Let me get some more water. New physics drop, boys! Shit, I just ex oh shit! Hang on. I just experienced the new physics. My uh, fu I I went flying off the floor. Is that not one sec? Cancel, cancel, cancel. I'm not commenting. 
Ah, oh, you would be socialist now. What do you got? There isn't one. Replay. I play off my own playlist. If you want the song that's currently playing, you have to ask me. Simple as that. That was, dude, that was weird. It was weird. I, I tankies are fucking weird. I, I just, I just don't, I have a, oh, one of the tankies took the, uh, one of the MLs took the uh, fascist test and posted it to political tests. I'm not kidding you. Apparently that test was making the rounds. I don't know which one of you fuckers pulled it out of your ass and fuck it. But <clears throat> yeah. I actually did take it. My response was uh, on chat was actually I took it. I got like eight or ten percent. I got like yeah, not much. Honestly, I think I was one of the least least in the community. Um, yeah, but my response was I I put the creator of the test in a camp, and now I have a zero percent score. Uh, <clears throat> so, oh um. Happy Independence Day. Happy belated Independence Day to our um, Indian brothers and sisters. 75 years ago yesterday, um, India officially kicked Britain to the curb. Hey, who's got a Jane? Fucking Pander 23. Pander Sarah. Fucking love to see a Daria fucking emote. Uh, I'm building a throne made out of human bones. Is this Praxis? Tankies. We gotta shoot at him in order to get him to actually go away proper. Oh, okay, so we did the China thing. Oh, um, Dig, you still here? Um, yeah, Dig, still here. Dig, did you see uh, over the weekend at the Las Vegas sign? Our fucking town, I swear to God. Can can just like can y'all not come here? That's just I know Vegas like survives on you people coming here, but. Can y'all just not come here? Oh, you want to know what happened? 
Oh, it's real simple. It's real simple. You see, there's a parking lot, as you can see in that video. Um, as you can see in the video when, when it faces the other way, there's a small parking lot in the middle of the road um, because this sign exists in our city and fucking morons come here and want to take a picture. And so they line up usually like civilized human beings and wait for their turn to take a picture. Well, guess what? Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> no, Jack, they were fighting to take a picture. Yes, they were fighting because somebody cut in line and fucking taking a picture at a fucking Las Vegas sign. Yeah. Yeah. A brawl broke out because the Las Vegas sign. What do I think of Sinn Fein? I think Sinn Fein is the political arm of the IRA. There. public i fuck if i know over a picture with a fucking sign fucking people i swear to god yeah right beast i swear to fucking god it's a sign not the taj mahal and even the taj mahal is yeah. <sighs> i i don't you know <laughs> it was so stupid No, the IRA are not the government. The IRA. <laughs> uh. Hot take. How do people not know what Sinn Féin is? Says reply. Mm -hmm. uh, Americans. 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 Yeah. Yeah, Americans. That's how. Teach us how to fucking win a win a war. If it weren't for if it weren't for America, all you fucking Euro people would be speaking German because of W because we had to come save your ass in W W two. So there. I don't have a view on the politics of Northern I uh, Northern Ireland because it's not my region. Let the people govern themselves. Beyond that, I don't give a shit. <sighs> Not a fan of the British. People are fine. Country's garbage. Why should I have, you know, any say over this matter? Oh, much better. Uh, we all know America punched Hitler, backflipped, and flipped off Japan as a nuke drop. Fuck yeah! Demolish buildings and bankrupt tourists. Oh, a lot of us still speak in German. Ramsey, it's because you didn't fight hard enough. <laughs> Won't have World War Three because three is a big number. <laughs> I would argue that there's only ever been one world war and it's never stopped. And that we've been in a, a, a various a various hot and cold states of world war of the world war ever since. Dear Drakai, you're hurting me. <laughs> uh, I, I don't, you know, I, it's it's always amusing when people ask an anarchist about X, Y, or Z. It's like, I believe in individual autonomy. I believe in the right of free association. I believe in the right of people to be able to uh, associate with who they wish, in what ways they wish, and to arrange their power dynamics as they wish. How do I get a say... Like the British Empire oppressed the Irish people for the better part of 800 years, and then we're surprised when the Irish people started blowing their shit up. <gasps> oh no, they're attacking civilian centers. You're all guilty. You've been fucking sitting by while your government oppressed people for 800 fucking years. You're all war criminals in their eyes at that point. Of course, shit's exploding. What do you expect? I, 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 you know. As far as I'm concerned with the IRA, the British fucked around and found out. 
They fucked around for the better part of 800 years, and then they got to find out. Simple as that. Do I care about the Protestant Catholic shit? No. As far as I'm concerned, the Protestant and the Catholics are both equally guilty in the retardation of mankind, and both should be expunged from the planet. How about that? Take your artificial dumbass uh, lines in the sand that you've drawn over imaginary fucking religions from the goddamn distant past, shove it up your fucking ass, and get over it. You're blowing each other up because of a fucking book that a bunch of fucking Bronze Age shepherds uh, fucking had a hand in writing? Go fuck yourself. You're all fucking idiots. As far as I'm concerned, the IRA is just as dumb as Hindu nationalists and just as dumb as the Hasidim, just as dumb as the fucking Islamic terrorists, just as dumb as Christian evangelicals, just as dumb as the Crusades. They're all fucking idiots. Rumble. I don't think we're allowed to say that one. <laughs> Not shaking that hand. Not shaking that hand. <laughs> nope. And they coming off the jacket. Yep. You can go fuck yourself, homeboy. You represent everything I hate. Yep. <laughs> Fair play. Uh... <laughs> Damn. That's a big number, non-binary. Not that I want to encourage more of Kai's suffering, but man, does he lay down some truths when he's in a mood. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could speak my mind. I wish I could speak my mind, Caboose. Like, I wish I, w I was on a truly free... I wish a truly free platform existed. And I could just, on any moment, be like, yeah, we should do this. Or, yeah, this. But, tis the way of the world. Truth Social, Gab, they both fucking censor people, public. They both censor the shit out of people. Um, <laughs> um, did anybody see fucking Florida doing the moron? As usual. As usual. Um, fucking, they're, um, they're gonna let veterans teach without, like, degrees in anything just a fucking GED and be a veteran and you can be a teacher dude some of the comments on some of this shit are hilarious from the military guys like from the military people it is fucking hilarious what they've been saying because I hang out in the Air Force subreddit um, which also references the crayon eaters a lot the the Marines and the Air Force get along for some reason um, but <laughs> quote quote Love my vet buddies. I wouldn't trust 90% of them with a teenage girl. Another quote. Same. As a veteran, I wouldn't trust them to teach them anything. Dudes with a, 30 thick, a 36 ASVAB and can't find a good paying job are the only ones that are going to resort to teaching since teaching pays like shit. And now, plus teenage girls. These are quotes from veterans. Saying like, oh, that. Mm, no. You don't want that. Yeah. These are not the brightest people amongst us. These aren't the fucking special forces guys that are actually intelligent, that like have to execute plans in their own head and do detailed analysis and shit. These are fucking dumb crayon eaters. These are the dumbest motherfuckers we have. These are the guys who were too stupid to get out of Paducah, Kentucky on their own, so they had to rely on the United States military to get them out of Paducah, Kentucky. Right? They're already functionally... So, we're going to let them around kids. Wonderful. Great. Teach teach kids. Oh, it'll be good, I'm sure. 
I'm sure that'll that'll be great. They're not screening for PTSD either, are they? Great. <sighs> if it's one thing we need to uh, need, it's to demote veterans to the only job with lower pay and benefits than in the military. I brought can I bought crayons for a guy who joined the Marines in the UK. I labeled them as emergency ration pack. Solid work, non-binary. Uh, after World War II, after WW2, the U.S. government gave vets suburbia. Now they just give them teenagers. <laughs> uh. Oh, Jack. Uh, isn't that the plot of Starship Troopers? Crimson, I know, right? Oh, Jesus. I, I, you know. Did y'all see? I mean, I'm just going to save it for a fucking, um, uh, yeah, just stabby. Um, um, Popo's Bizarre Adventures, but the New Orleans cop finally got suspended. Dude, New Orleans cop fucking stood by in public, stood there and watched a woman get, an unconscious woman get raped in the street. Just stood there and watched. They finally suspended him. Uh, all right, non binary. <sighs> boys will be boys. Uh, he shouldn't slander our great troops. Why are all the locals in Okinawa angry again? Because our troops are too friendly? Yeah, is it too friendly? Yeah. <laughs> it's just, it's just, he's being friendly. Hmm, is that what that is? Fascinating. Um. You know, um, does anybody, um, <laughs> seen this guy before? It's a compilation. Um. No, I don't think so. Uh, Y'all remember um, Eddie Gallagher, the Navy SEAL that committed the war crimes, whose own SEAL uh, SEAL uh, platoon tried to get him run up the chain, and then command fucking finally caved, and then Trump gave him a pardon. That that guy, Eddie Gallagher, the fucking Navy SEAL who committed a, like some war crimes, and yeah, that guy. Um, <clears throat> he's been um, he's been teaching um, uh, cops. He's been he's been brought in by the uh, by uh, the Tallahassee Police Department in Florida, Tallahassee, Florida. Um, he's been brought in by the Tallahassee Police Department to quote unquote train their their officers in new concepts of shooting. No public, more like, you know, sometimes you got to shoot a little girl in the head. What are you going to do? I did want to explore Tallahassee next time I go up to Panama City, but never mind. You win some, you lose a few hundred. Oh. Marcus. Oh, Havoc. Welcome to the party, but I hate to be the bearer of bad news, <clears throat> but the IRS has had SWAT teams and have been carrying firearms in the field um, as near as I can tell for most of my life. 
Um, for the entirety of the time that I was operating as a firearms trainer for my family's firearms training facilities, as well as after that, the IRS has had the capacity to use deadly force when engaged in their activities in the field. Um, that's nothing new. Um, I know it's new to some Americans because it just made the rounds recently and that people are like, oh my God, the IRS carries guns? Yes, the IRS has entire SWAT teams. The IRS executes search and seizures all the time against highly armed and barricaded facilities. Yeah, this is not new. <laughs> like this is, I, I know it's new to some people, but it's not new. Um, the Postal Service has varying degrees on that one. Um, see? Here. You want to you wanna see how the, the crazy right wing... They've been talking about this from... Hello. We got a couple people here from France. Fertus. Uh, welcome, Fugue. Um, the IRS has a SWAT team? In 2013, this was asked. Right? not new I, it's just it's, I, I love I love when people catch up <laughs> oh. is it true Marcus I don't know that one I think I found out the IRS is a SWAT team through crack.com article in like 2009 says Caboose Not new. Not even close to new. Hey, Cass. I really don't care to be perfectly frank. I'll change it, but whatever. Uh, our tax office with guns. It was, yeah, I mean, I, I, if you're going to take somebody's shit in America, you should, ugh, God, that just, Cass, you just, I mean, good on you. Congratulations. It just seems like more shit to do. I don't, I don't, I'm not in the world of taking on more on my plate. Uh, um, uh, fugue, they do. Just not with the, you know, the sort of, I don't know, how should we call it, the panache uh, that uh, U.S. police do. If you have nothing to hide, then you won't mind if we uh, we we don't uh, monitor your communications either, Crygo. Crygo, the the modality of operation that if you have if you don't commit crimes and you have nothing to worry about only holds true if the people in power forever agree with you. It's a Few, I understand that. But again, you're speaking to an American. Don't, like, how many thousand people did your cops kill last year? All right, like, it, it's, like, 
Like, I get it, but, you know, American. <laughs> That's... Yes, Fugue, that much. That much. Yeah. It's, it's, it's kind of... Yeah, we, I, I don't even know where to start. Like we, we have actual legal protections in place. It's not just that like they get away with it. It's that it's perfectly legal for them to do in the first place. Like that's, 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 I mean, part of the difference in the conversation starts with not only is it like that they get away with it, it's legal. It's perfectly legal for the U.S. cops to do what they do on a regular basis. Yeah, it's only in rare occasions that we get to hold them accountable. Oh, crime is still not at high levels. Crime has also gone up. It's fucking ticked up barely. Fucking, if you expand the chart out a couple of years, even just to the 90s, crime is way down. It's, it's just fucking A. Eh? Blame that fucking cop show. Cops. <sighs> Fugue, that is true. That is true. 100%. Um... Civil asset forfeiture accounts for more theft of pro, uh, of public goods and uh, public goods and funds than all other forms of criminal theft combined. The money that cops alone take in the U.S. accounts for more money taken than all of the burglaries, all of the hijackings, all of the home invasions, all of the take all of the criminal forms of robbery theft combine them and the amount of money that it was stolen from the public using civil asset forfeiture by the police is more than the total sum of all criminal theft so <sighs> yeah that's if you take into account wage theft oh the numbers through the fucking roof Land of the free. <laughs> yeah. But hey, that's not a crime because of course not. I, I just, oh, is that the, uh, oh no, this is the New York one. Oh, well, good riddance. Uh, uh, replay basically. No, replay for sure. That's that's yeah. Oh, uh. <laughs> oh, fugue. Fight, 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 fight it. The privatization, you're getting it back once it's been privatized, Fugue, is near impossible. It's near fucking impossible at that point.
Marcus. Oh, Marcus. <gasps> Yay! He's gone full MAGA now. Congratu it, I've been waiting for this arc. I've been waiting for this arc. Oh, oh, our boy has has just gone full fucking. Oh, you fucking doofy motherfucker. You know, my, um, one of my favorite things in the world, one of my favorite things in the world is trans, uh, tankies. Legibita tankies are my favorite things. Honestly, they're my favorite little creatures. Um, trans, like LGBTQ plus Legibita, um, tankies are hilarious. Uh, fugue. <laughs> Do we have... There you go. Caboose. Self-destructive nature. Self-destructive nature. All right, let me check here. Cons tankies are conservative. Conservatives aren't tankies. Conservatives are, are, are find their origin in Edmund Burke, in their Burkean roots. It's about maintaining the status quo, and at its core, it's, a, it's an upholding of a monarchical system. Tankies are socially conservative by nature, so they are conservative. They wish to retain a patriarchal, more, cons, uh, more uh, um, antiquated social order. So by definition, tankies are conservative, but conservatives are not tankies because tankies have, an, uh, have a fetishization for Stalin, Lenin, Mao, an obsession with red aesthetics, um, and a general, uh, shall we say, uh, penchant for, um, for genocides and killings. Oh, no, no, phew, they all believe the U.S. is, they all believe the U.S. is imperialist, and yet China isn't. I've, I've heard tankies literally argue, is that Luna? Is it Luna? This feels like Luna. This, this level of dumb that's about to fall out of my mouth, it feels like Luna. Um, I have heard a tanky literally say that imperialist Japan was not imperialist. I've heard that. I've seen that said. So, I'm pretty sure that's Luna. That feels dumb enough to be Luna. Yeah. <laughs> I love public. Oh, fuck Luna away. <sighs> Here's so goddamn much. <laughs> it was either Luna or Chaos Mel. Or Chaos is Mel. Oh, no, no, Wither. It, no, it's it, that's it's close to the quote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Imperialist Japan was not imperialist. No, no, no. It, they, they outright said it. Yeah, wait, 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 was it was it Mel or or Luna? Either way, uh, Marcus. <laughs> Luna actually said something without being interrupted by um fucking her husband, my wife. Non compete? You mean the former venture capitalist? Yeah. It was Mel. Okay, it was Mel. Okay, so it was Mel. Mel was the one who said imperialist Japan was not imperialist. Jesus.
<laughs> Puka, it's in the name. <laughs> I, I, you know, yeah. She did a video on how gays need to shut the fuck up about losing rights, but she's not homophobic because she's actually bi. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah. Copybara. Fugue, really? Oh, we deal with fucking idiots like this on a regular. Seizing Trump's passport. By the way, this, this bitch is stupid as fuck. This Laverne Spicer, she is dumb as sticks. She's fucking functionally retarded. Seizing Trump's passports means they're about to move in to arrest this man. Lord, cover this man in the blood of Jesus because they're all trying to make him suffer for all the crimes and the corruption he exposed. We're not going to let this stand when we get the majority. No way. Dude, she, dude, she has had some... She's new on the, on the scene and holy shit has she had some fucking dumb takes. She's the one that said there's no pronouns in the Bible. She's uh, she's the one who said there's no pronouns in the Bible. Yeah, she's she's epically dumb. Uh, she also said there are no pronouns in the Constitution. That's right. Yeah, she also said there's no pronouns in the Constitution. Um, we, the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, No pronouns in the Constitution. Literally the first word. Literally the first word. First person pronoun. Uh, first person plural pronoun. Sorry. First person plural pronoun. <laughs> they the people. Yeah. Literally the first word. She's dumb as sticks. You know, Brigitte Macron. The president's wife said there's only two pronouns, he and she. <laughs> Sounds about right. Oh. I'm over it. I'm over dumb people. I'm just over dumb people. Oh, she's a French teacher. Lovely. <laughs> she's a French teacher. Oh, Aspen. Aspen. You know what? Hang on. Aspen, you deserve to see this. Um, let me try and find it for you. It's been a minute. Um... You ready, Aspen? Ha, oh, fuck you, Marcus. F fuck your lawyer pedantry, Marcus. Beat you.
uh, Aspen, what you're reading is uh, capitalist innovation. But wait, there's more. Dude, Aspen, it broke me. I was crying on stream. I, I was just, I couldn't stop laughing. I just couldn't stop laughing. It just broke me. It broke me. It fucking broke me. Doritos flavored ch chips. Chip flavored chips. Dude, there's chip flavored chips. It's in Iowa. They're testing them in Iowa. That at least kind of makes sense. That one kind of makes sense. <sighs> chip flavored chips. We have chip flavored chips. We have chip flavored chips. God, I hate us. They already have cheap. And then just. I, again, I, the whole thing just fucking broke me when I saw it. Ugh. Next on the menu, hot dog flavored hamburgers. See, did I have? Oh. oh, yeah, here's the guy. Yeah, it was Pennsylvania. It wasn't Baltimore. It was Pennsylvania. The fucking FBI moron. Um, it was Pennsylvania. He threatened to murder FBI agents last week after, you know, of course, Mar-a-Lago. He, quote, this is the quote. Come and get me, you piece of shit feds. I'm going to fucking slaughter you. Well... They came and got him. <laughs> he asked. They came. Um, didn't really work out that way. Um, apparently they used some overwhelming force and like SWAT raided him, his ass. Jesus Christ. Fucking poking at the FBI like that. Fuck around and find out. You're one dude. You're not the Black Panthers. And even they were infiltrated. Even they, they spun up COINTELPRO to take them on. Look at fucking Hampton. Look at Newton. Right? Like, dude, even with an entire infrastructure involved, you're still going to get fucking infiltrated and taken down. This motherfucker, one crazy dude on Twitter, fucking come and find out. Fucking come and get me. Oh, fucking Jesus Christ. You might as well just walk up to a polar bear slathered in fucking seal fat and start poking at its nose. Like, what are you going to do? Oh, I have no idea what this, how the, the outcome of this is going to play out. Oh. Oh, I have no idea how this is going to work. Jesus. Yeah, it's more, it's more CIA fugue. It's more, that's more CIA. FBI handles the domestic, like trying to get Martin Luther King to kill himself and infiltrating the Black Panthers and potentially assassinating some black leadership. Yeah, it's, that's more the FBI. The, the, the ins, you know, um, toppling democratically elect, elected socialists uh, in South America and installing dictatorships. It's more of our CIA's job. Walrus, are you, are you fucking dumb? You're dumb, right? You're dumb. Like what? I'm seeing these comments over and over again, and you're just like, 
What? Hey, McSecular, thanks. Like, the FBI took over the CIA. When? How? What evidence do you have? What is your argument to, 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 to fulfill this completion? To fulfill this argument? Like, what, what do you have? What, 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 what do you, I mean, Jesus fucking Christ. And then the comment about the dude on Twitter fucking uh, threatening the FBI fucking, uh, what was it? Uh, ah, yes. A fellow anarchist. Yes. Anarchist notorious and notorious for coming to the defense of Donald Trump. Oh, <sighs> It's too long for a stream, like 15 minutes, but Ted Cruz may have threatened to coup Columbia on the Senate floor. Uh, Marcus, 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 I'm going to fucking get to do it. I'm going to get to do it. Marcus. Marcus, what did you, what did you do incorrectly? Marcus, Look, read your statement again, Marcus, read your statement again. Who did, who did he threaten to coup? Ha, ha, I got to pet in the lawyer for once. You have naughty pics of Ted Cruz. Dig, I want to see him. <laughs> They're real. Uh -huh. <sighs> yes? Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> all right. All right, Lars. Um, <laughs> Finally. Achievement unlocked. Pet in the pedantic. Uh, let's see. What do I have? What do I have? You're nope. Um, let's see. I'm, you know, wait, what? Yeah, I'm good. Oh, it's her back. Oh, got it. Oh, fugue. That sucks. Fuck mosquitoes. Ticks and mosquitoes, man. Ticks and mosquitoes. Fucking wipe them out. Who gives a shit? They, they aren't critical to the environment. It, walrus, it's difficult for us to read intention sometimes. Text, man. Text. Sorry for jumping on you, but yeah. This is why this this is just why America. This is why America. Uh right now it's 8:27 p.m. Fugue. I am on the west coast of America. Pacific time zone. 
Oh yeah, yeah. It looks like coral on a burger. It does now I see it? It kind of does, doesn't it? Uh, that's just oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh. Let's see. I mean, we're going to have to talk about it. <sighs> how much? How much for like, how much? How much is in this? Uh, Jesus Christ, that's a ton of shit out of one of my face, to be perfectly honest. Perks. How much is in this fucking jar? Point five grams. Five grams. Five fucking grams. I'm probably closer to that. Uh, closer to that. Uh, oh, geez. I'm actually like... I'm closer to him than I am him. Somebody want to actually... I, dude, somebody want to... Fuck it. Light. Light is the shade. Okay. Duly noted. Light. Jesus Christ. <clears throat> well, if I tan, trust me, if I tan, I get really fucking golden. Uh, my mom has some like Mediterranean somewhere in there or some shit. Um, also, we have at least one indigenous and one black dude somewhere in the back, back of her family along the line. Um, yeah, so when I, I don't, I don't burn, I just tan. I tan really well, actually. Um, so I, I get golden bronze and shit when I tan. Um, so, but yeah, that's $24 for five grams. Jesus Christ, for paint for your face. Maybe it's born with it. Maybe it's bullshit. I'm a rock and I fucking burn, says Fugue. Um, that's the makeup industry for you. It's Cass. Uh, hey, fucking, who are you? Oh, you're just an idiot. Okay. All right. Got it. You've been here once before and your only comment was fucking dumb as shit too then. 
and we just ignored you and you fucking went away like the moron you that you are. Got it. Okay. Um Yeah, I was I was wondering who the fuck this idiot school computer is. Just I fucking hate white people. Honky ass men. Uh, you want to know their only com uh, other comment was about erectile dysfunction. Probably their only concern, frankly. You know how it is. Older, uh, older fucking dudes. Um, uh, was it Blue Chew? Um, um, uh, was it what's your fucking name again? I already forgot your stupid name because you're completely unimportant. School computer. Hey, school computer. Bluechew.com. That's what you want for if like 30, 35, 30 bucks, to, I don't know, like 20 bucks a month plus shipping or some shit like that. I don't know. It's like 25 or some shit. Um, you can get like a six pack, I think, of chewable Viagra since you probably need help getting your little pecker up. So there you go. There's my fucking good deed for the day. Fucking school computer. Bluechew.com. That'll help you with, with your little soft pecker issues. Anyway, moving on with my life. Excel, it's not good. It, it's not a legal opinion you need on that one. It's a political opinion, frankly. Like, legally, if the evidence is there, 100%, he should probably be fucking sent up the river. But that's not what's going to determine it. The legal process is not going to determine that. Oh, phew, this one's out of the money's hands. He doesn't have enough money for that. It's, yeah, this one's out. Of, this is this is political science territory now. It's a matter of whether the system wants to convict one of its own, right? Uh, convicting a former president's a fucking, like, that's a, generally, the, they, they don't want to cross that. They don't want to cross that Rubicon because that's bad precedent. Because if we start convicting former president, this is why Obama didn't go after Bush. It's because the next president would have gone after Obama. They're all war criminals. They're all guilty. They all commit fucking crimes. That's just the way it goes. Dude, they, if you've got Guantanamo open, congratulations. It's just, yeah. It's, now it's a matter of whether the system's going to turn on itself or not. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The CFO already pled. Yeah. The CFO pled guilty uh, under the Trump organization uh, investigation in New York, I believe. We can just send the uh, we can just send the Canadians to citizen arrest. Uh, John, public fair. Yeah, it's fair with her. Yeah, beast. Yeah, it really is. It's just a question of whether the espionage and fucking trees and stuff are enough. Uh, yeah, Morris. Yeah. <sighs> At level, that's the only the, like that's the only fucking hope I could hold out is that Trump is an outsider. He's not an insider. Trump is an outsider to the Trump is as far as they're concerned. Trump is nouveau riche. He has no class. He's not part of that crew. Uh, yeah, they took all three of them. Apparently, Puka. <clears throat> yes, they took all three of them. Apparently. I dig. I don't know if he's losing his base. I think his base may just be fucking being galvanized in this matter. Remi ah, I hate your f fucking voice. Um. Yeah. 
DOJ refuted that they took his passports? Fair enough. I'm like, yeah, peeps don't realize how dumb his base is. At this point, you know, yeah. Um, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? <gasps> That's right. I meant I wanted to. Sh I need to show that to Viscous. Um, memes. Yeah, we'll put that in memes. Bam. At uh, Virgin. Yeah, there we go. Official Virgin coordinator. He'll enjoy that. Well, that is the sort of thing they would do, um, is confiscate passports. Kept pot, th that's confiscation. That's just all passports are property of the United States government. So if you're under federal investigation, it's perfectly viable for them to confiscate your passport, especially during a search and seizure for nuclear. <laughs> Classified nuclear documents. Also, potentially, I saw like a spy list. Jesus Christ. I can't wait to see if we ever get to know exactly what the fuck. Well, there there could be, dude. If there's code word clearance documents included in that, we don't even get to know about them sort of shit. Like, we can't even be told. So, like, there's stuff potentially that's been in his possession that by the rules of their own system, they won't tell us. all <sighs> replay yeah No, level, that's hilarious. Hold on. Border wall. Cargo continues. administration given the green light to start further construction of the border wall. Now the goal to close is waiting. Border barrier. Don't care. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> there it is. They're using Connex containers. Fucking international shipping containers. Do you know how easy it is to get over a fucking shipping container? Well, congratulations to your cousin Kaiser. <laughs> Jamming the holes in the border with shopping carts when? Like, that's not even that high. I told you how they tried to contact my dad to come fix the welders. He's just dig. Um, Almost as easy as a slate steel fence. No, a shipping container, uh, you can, I could jump up and grab the edge. That's, that's not even. Oh, Jesus Christ. I reversed it. All right. Holy shit. Hundred percent. I mean, they are, di uh, they are beast, but 
Look. Work a corner. This is how any climber's mind works, right? Work a corner. I can, if I can get to that, I can get over it. No big deal, right? Like you can go from, she got a good laugh at your debate with Dr. Professor Kaiser. I'm glad I could entertain her. Uh, if you can get a, it, just here, watch. You can go from a dead hang all the way up. Any, any climber with their salt can do that maneuver. Any climber with their salt can do that maneuver. You can, you can literally just go from a dead hang all the way to full up, full up, just like that. Once you're here, you can get your foot up. Once you get your foot up, you just rinse and repeat. This is the easiest fucking thing to get over. It's not difficult to get over a fucking Conax. Yeah, excellent. Yes. Yes. Hair resolution. Yeah, a um an electronic grid would be way better off. A oh, way better off. God damn it. <sighs> this is so cool. This is so cool. Okay, so. For those of you who aren't weirdos that actually know this off the fucking bat, what this is, fuck it. <laughs> <clears throat> this is, <laughs> they found my journal. This is the 120 days of Sodom. This, this, this is the, the, the novel written by the Marquis de Sade in fucking 17 whatever that features the behavior of four <laughs> very rich male, uh, uh, very rich male, uh, libertines, um, torture, rape, murder, um, victims in medieval castles for like, this is, this is the origin of sadism. This is, this is sort of like, this is it. This is the 120 days of Sodom. This, this is, this is the unfinished novel by the Marquis de Sade. So cool. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> I, 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 dude, okay, so, like, I have a real hard on for archivists. I, 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 legitimately, some of my, like, I think some of the coolest people in the world are archivists. Like, for real. Um, and they're the ones who get to handle shit like that. They're the ones who fucking get to play with stuff like that. I, that for me is just, like, forget the content of it even. That's a fucking novel by the Marquis de Sade from 1785 or some shit like that, right? Like that's, it's so, it's so above and beyond the pale. Like it's just, I, I find stuff like that. That gives me like an intellectual hard on. I love that stuff. Um, archivists are cool as fuck, yeah. I want to translate a copy. Guys are just love scrolls. <laughs> Marcus. Ah, that explains the left to right. Um, so explicit. Even the 1800s popes thought it was too far. Uh, reminds me of the Dead Sea Scrolls. 
resolution, just being near that kind of thing would be cool. Yeah, I, anything that's like, it's just, I, I love archivists. I remember, I still remember, I wish I could remember their, their username. We were talking one night and I, I expressed my love for archivists and we had one in chat. They're like, oh, I'm an archivist. I'm like, uh, I fucking, dude, I love archivists. I think they're some of the coolest fucking people in the world. Swede, why did you change your fucking name, by the way? <laughs> the Swede. <laughs> the Swede. Um, it's in much better condition than the Dead Sea Scrolls. Um... Ah, what is this video? Hmm, that is actually really. Oh, um, <laughs> so all the Swedes know they're the <laughs> that Swede is the Swede. Mm, I, I, you don't burn books. Don't burn books. <sighs> uh, what else I got? <sighs> yeah, we did the brace. <laughs> bracelets oh yeah uh somebody got a cut i love this thing the uh hold on this is great burn flags not books uh dude carpe uh, i i've stated before if the vatican let me into the uh, the secret archives they don't have to let me out. I'm fine with it. Just let me in. I just want to in. I just want to touch some stuff. I just want to see some stuff. You know? Put me down there with, like, some fucking priest that knows how to translate. Right? Give me somebody who can tell me what some of this shit is. And then, whatever. Like, you can fucking kill me as soon as I'm done. Like, just... I don't care. Just let me down there. I want to fucking poke around. Dude, you know. You know they got some shit. You know they got some shit. Sacking of Babylon. <laughs> um, 20 years later, Kai's still reading. Well, I mean, you know. If they're going to feed me while I'm down there, Dick. <laughs> um, This was published in 1912, for those wondering. Price, 10 cents per year. Okay. Wednesday, August 14th, 1912. Science Notes and News, Coal Consumption Affecting Climate, 1912. The furnaces of the world are now burning about uh, 2 billion tons of coal a year. When this is burned, uniting with oxygen, it adds about 7 billion tons of carbon dioxide to the atmosphere yearly. This tends to make the air a more effective blanket for the Earth and to raise its temperature. The, eff the effect may be considerable in a few centuries. 1912. We've known for ages. We've known for ages. Our resolution. Yeah, just a touch. Just a touch. You want to see what it'll look like once we're done?
around the time they were treating hysteria with vibrators, right? The vibrators and cocaine. Vibrators and cocaine. Dude, okay, I would not want to be, I don't want to be a woman. That's not my thing, right? Sorry to all my trans friends. Dude, that seems like a nightmare to me. Our world is male-centric. It's highly patriarchal. This is just a math thing for me. There's less shit for me to deal with, right? So, like, I, I would not want to be a woman. Except for that one time period. That one moment in time where you're like, you know, husband, I'm feeling very angry today. Oh, well, we should take you to the doctor. And the doctor, fuck, we go to the doctor and the doctor's like, oh, this is clearly hysteria. Do some cocaine and here, let me masturbate you for you. Wait, what? Perfectly viable medical treatment. Cocaine and masturbation. Okay. Okay. There's at least one perk. There's at least one perk. <laughs> uh, Tina, I think I'm suffering right now. <laughs> I'd definitely be hysterical, says Dig. <laughs> uh, co Vibrators and Cocaine, the working title of Freud's uh, prog rock album. Uh... I think it was Oscar Wilde who lamented, oh, to be young and rich during the Great Binge. Uh, they might have sent you to an asylum if you kept him back, though, says Crimson. Crimson, that's why you got a doctor shop. The rules haven't changed, right? If you want to get your fucking jollies off with some meds, you got a doctor shop. Again, doctor shopping is illegal. This is not legal. Uh, this, is, this is for the purposes of entertainment and comedy only. Uh, hashtag not a lawyer. Um... I jest, I jest, I jest. <sighs> uh. <laughs> to be young and coming. Oh my god, this is great. I just saw a uh, TIFU, for those who don't know what TIFU stands for, it's for Today I Fucked Up. I just saw a Today I Fucked Up. <laughs> that is brilliant. Oh. Uh, apparently some girlfriend fucking asked about her boyfriend's spank bank. Did he, did he have one? He, he did. When I asked him if he kept nudes from exes, he said yes. We got into an argument because I think is weird. He said he doesn't know a guy that doesn't do it. While that might be true, I still thought it was weird. <laughs> Long story short, this starts. she starts obsessing about this. It eats her up for a few weeks, so she goes snooping. What does she find when she goes snooping? One of his exes is her old boss. Uh, <laughs> uh, I personally do eat my nudes if I ever sent taxes. Dig, I'd have copies. Climbing down the corporate ladder, eh? <laughs> oh, beast. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you know? Don't ask questions you don't want to know the answer to. Apparently, she's not his type either. Like, apparently all of the spank bank stuff was like blonde hair, blue eyes, big tits. And she's a brown woman, jet black hair and fat ass and mediocre tits. <laughs> Her own words. 
Oh, dude, why would you, why would you, don't ask questions you don't want the answer to, especially, look, women, 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 my women, my women, my women, on behalf of all of my straight brethren, right, dudes are fucked up in the head, you don't want to know, you don't want to know, especially if your dude ever came up and did any, like, narcotics in their 20s or some shit, Dude, they're gonna, like, you get one good coke yank going, right? Like, you just a fucking coke binge over the weekend, and you got that fucking, like, you know, that limp dick coke dick shit, and you're just trying to bust one and get it, get, get on with your life, right? You fucking, you go to dark places to get the job done. You do what you gotta do, right? Fucking, you are not prepared to know this information. You are not prefer- prepared to know what men masturbate to sometimes. <sighs> What you masturbate to isn't always going to be what you want, says public. <laughs> we DP, or we do. <laughs> oh, fucking just one. Bria and I, what did I just join to? An aside about a comment about a comment. It's, it's a thing. <clears throat> Kaiser, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, you do, don't. Don't ask. Like you don't don't ask questions you don't want to know the answer to. That's a that's a life lesson. A lizard brain lizard brain got a lizard. Exactly. Yeah, my ex early to mid twenties relationship cokehead didn't know found his best friend's nudes in his phone. I don't care. I, I care about lying using my rent money for drugs. That's his dick. Uh, found out a whole lot after that's his dick. Yeah, dude, you don't. Caboose, even us vanilla guys will do some <clears throat> particular wax. Yeah, I, I, dude, I, I've. The places I go on a regular basis, most people are not, not prepared for. Uh, let alone, <laughs> let alone some vanilla girlfriend. Jesus Christ. Uh Where's the, oh, god damn it, where's the original? Fuck that. Oh, the Y boner is real. Fantasy and reality are two different things, says a resolution. I mean, they can be the same thing. Your fantasies can, can become reality, but... <laughs> oh, hey, got a date. Time to nuke my Reddit. <laughs> We're getting tagged. Jesus Christ. Sweet, I saw the thing you tagged me with. Respond to that. And minimize that. Yeah. The, uh, oh, well. Just cool. Unless we figure out how to make furry women in real life and the Navi end up being real, most of my fantasies are unlikely to become a reality. Caboose. Um, oh, I don't, uh, I don't know what his name is, Dig. Um, uh, hold on. His name was Edward LeClaire. Oh. Sweet, I you know. <coughs> the Navi would be limited to tail sex. Public, I mean, we could introduce public. We could introduce them to new some, some new stuff. They got mouths. They got mouths. 
All right, they got asses. I don't know, dude. How did the um, how did the Navi excrete waste material? They've got to have some orifice, right? Like they got they got shit we can work with. We can we can figure some stuff out. How do you know? I don't public. I don't. That's why I'm like, do they? Like I don't I don't know. I like all of all of the world saw Avatar once and then never thought about it again. Um, except for maybe caboose <laughs> bees. There are things where things can be placed. There are places where things can be placed. There we go. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this is what it is. I mean, it's avatar is fucking dances with wolves in space. It's Jesus name a character from the film. Can't do it. I see the names, but again, I didn't think of those. Yeah, I don't fucking know any names from Avatar. Blue people. I didn't even. I didn't even fucking remember the Na Navi. It, it, it fucking it's it's fuck I'm like the blue alien people that fuck with their tails and then the fucking humans who are like raping the land here here's what you want right this is what you want the fucking the white people and and the Indians right this is this is dances with wolves it, it's just some racist ass shit <laughs> that's that's all it is it's indigenous people meet white people part two in space but like yeah some old school fucking nonsense. <sighs> yeah, but no, I, I legitimately, no, I couldn't name anybody out of that fucking movie. I don't even think I could tell you who was in it. I, I legitimately don't think I could tell you who was in the movie. Oh, I saw this, Marcus. Yeah, I saw this, Marcus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, 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 the father-in-law using the, uh, the cat to masturbate. I really want to know what he was doing. <laughs> Quote, put his hand to his crotch, picked up the cat, and grabbed the animal by its sides and thrust himself against the cat repeatedly. That doesn't tell me, though. Was he actually penetrating the cat? It seems like the cat would be dead. Or he's really, really small. Either way, yeah, I saw... Oh, okay, he said the cat hair felt good. But reminded the trooper he didn't actually penetrate the cat. Okay, well, that answers my question. I saw the fucking thing. I, I saw it making the rounds, but I was like, did he fuck the cat? That seems like a small animal to fuck. Man was just getting pussy. What's wrong with that? And on the like the Tokyo Drift of the century, uh, oh satellite, no, it's it's so much more than that. Uh, but thank you. Um, the Tokyo Drift of the century, uh, from from cat fucking to corporate malfeasances and capitalism. The uh, the <clears throat> the bill that just got passed. Included a seven hundred and fifty dollar tax. I'm sorry, seven hundred fifty, seven hundred and uh, seventy five hundred dollar tax credit for electric vehicles, right? So the bill that just got passed 
included $7,500 in tax credits for electric vehicles. Ford immediately raised their prices of their electric F-150 by $8,500. The government said, we will give $7,500 in tax credits to anybody for electric vehicles. Ford's immediate response was increase the price of the electric F-150 by $8,500. They couldn't just take the 7500 they wanted an extra thousand from you for the trouble yeah exactly carpe oh, Jesus. What the? oh. The extra thousand be advertised as rebated as well. So, so sweet. Oh, the resolution, the 7,500 expired. Um, and they, they rolled back the 7,500 when it expired for, for real. Like it's, it's, it, it happened uh, already. They, when GM, when the tax credits ran out, GM dropped their price by 6,500. Um, and then brought him back up. Yeah, it's a whole thing. <coughs> oh, I hate these fucking corporations. I swear to God. I'll get to that another day. Uh, yeah, a Ramsey, a hundred percent. Oh, satellite, they're already, we're already building new facilities. Um, we're already building new facilities. But we're going to raid out. I'm done. Mm, I don't even know if they work when they're designed like Section 8 suite, to be perfectly honest. All the issues with Section 8 I've heard over the years. <sighs> Marcus, we're not doing popos today. Either way, we're going to raid over to 7th. I don't feel well. I haven't felt well in fucking days. Um, so, yeah, and it's, it's starting to hurt. Like, again, I just, I'm done. Thanks, Satellite. Um, I may be on VC. We may get some gaming in. I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do. We'll see. Carpe. Excel, I yes, but it's also it's nerve driven. Save nerve damage. Uh, years of uh, years worth of waiting list and not enough houses. Yep. Yeah, I'm I'm not sold by Section Eight. Perfectly honest. So, all right, let's close that at least. Yeah, I'm going to do some, like, I don't know, Fenabut or something. It's a GABA antagonist. We'll see what I do. Either way, I, I need to smoke less weed. The weed was getting to me. Bye.